Out there. I told you to stay out. I'm blowing this place sky high, you fascist. Oh, geez, Alex, is that you? I'm sorry. I thought you were a spook. The explosives. Damn it. Get to the lab. You'll figure it out. Kitten Kaboom! I'm 
genuinely surprised that didn't kill me. Yeah. Yeah, another 12 seconds and... This whole place would have been a pile of rubble. I wasn't just gonna... What I've discovered is so powerful. They can't get their hands on it. The beacon. And it's what drew you both here. And it took your sister. It's dangerous, Alex. Too dangerous. I have to bury it. I told myself I'd wait a few hours for her to come back before... Well... That was five days ago. You're half of the Hex. Did you bring it? <sighs> of course you did. We should get you down to the beacon. Forget what I said. It's totally safe. Safe enough. You'll need a few 9-amp fuses for that panel. Everything that wasn't bolted down was torn apart. You can thank your sister for that. Hey, Alex, catch! I'm just kidding. <laughs> Here you go. Good job. Gentle now. Good. Mean more power. One more to go. Right on. Track actuators are go. We're getting there. Bravo. Regular Jesse Bar And we have juice. Nice work, kid. Now, activate the call switch. It's been three years, and I still don't know where the beacon came from, or what it's capable of. I told Elsie to keep her hex away from it. It seemed obvious that there'd be some sort of reaction. Well, I was right. The first night, that dang girl snuck down into the lab while I was sleeping. The first night! Jump in the left, kid. I got my own ride. Come on, let's make a move. We gotta get going! Tell someone like your sister not to do something, because guess what they'll do the second your back's turned? Somehow, she opened the beacon's cage and triggered a goddamn explosion of magnetic energy. Busted up everything, damn near tore open metal hell. Sure, my legs are still attached to my body. I heard fell down and loud, but I couldn't get anywhere near the beacon. It surrounded itself with an intense magnetic field. I can only assume that Elsie somehow opened the beacon's cage, because it was loose, just floating there in the middle of the lab. It was a hell of a time roping that damn thing back in his home. Elsie, she was gone, and I don't have the faintest clue where to. Heads up. <laughs> Due to the old metal hip, we're gonna try to reproduce what Elsie did down there. Maybe they'll give us some answers. They don't have any spelling. Hold on a second. I'll call the elevator up. Let me see. Ah, oh, damn it! The blast ripped apart the elevator system's control box. Of course it did. Why not? You'll need to throw it back together. But first we gotta get it a charge. Damn it, hold on. You need to prime the control panel so you can move the water with. One, two, three. There we have lift off. Now, guide the water wheel into place to get a current flow. Damn it! 
I forgot to install a new step-down fuse after the last one blew. Yeah, that one's my goof. Tons of replacement boards down there, though. Swap out the five parts. Gentle, delicate state-of-the-art electronics. Yeah, good. Okay, throw it out the chamber. is next to the pinion of the 86 circuit. There it is. Those damn spindle boards always get it. Just give it some elbow grease. Everything in its place, Alex. Use your brain. Watch your brawn. thing the CIA will do when they get their hands on the beacon. They'll figure out how to use it to kill people. That's what they do. Trust me. I know. This damn call war has turned good men into monsters. Imagine a magnetic repulsion bomb that turns every nail in the Kremlin into a bullet. I can't let that happen.
Elsie believed you would come, and now you are here. What a privilege. Odd. A twin birth formed in the bloodline. What a quixotic aberration. These must be desperate times. I wonder. Receive your gift. She waited for you, Alex. An admirable length of time. Elsie waited. In the end. It was the hunger that drove her forwards. Forwards, Alex. The direction of our fate is always forwards. With obedience, we follow our own invisible, unbreakable stream. A path predetermined, preordained. Our fate ignores our struggle and our merits. Fate. Breaks our best intentions. <laughs> and who draws these strings? Who promise you glory and me, damnation? Who? Who? I will use you, child of Adam. You can manipulate the machine in ways that I cannot. I wish an audience with someone who lives beyond my reach, and you will provide me with that. Master your gift. 